Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a bottle of Chilean sparkling wine here. It is uh, the Miguel Torres Cordillera uh, Pinot Noir Brut Blanc de Noir uh, from Curico. Uh, now, I'm having a look all round this bottle, and I'm sure it's going to be on here somewhere, uh, but I can't see it for the moment. Um, but um, there was a little something that the people who sent it have uh, stuck on with it, saying it's from the 2013 vintage. I can't see anywhere that says it's a 2013 vintage, but um, um, I, I believe them because they're nice people. Um, anyway, I'll taste the wine. Juicy, round, fresh, strawberry, strawberry mivy. Uh, if, if you don't know what a mivy lolly is, it was one of those that uh, I grew up with a uh, long, long time ago. Um, vanilla ice cream in the middle, strawberry ice lolly on the outside, and that mixture of red fruit uh, with the vanilla uh, of the ice cream, and that slight... Um, Sweetness is the wrong word, but there is something sweet and toasty uh, about this character that really reminds me of strawberry mi mivy lollies. Yes, it's fresh and it's um, fresh, but it's rich. Um, the danger of, uh, of producing sparkling wine in a country where you're able to ripen things well is that you almost get a little bit too much flavour in the grapes sometimes, and um, it sounds a sounds a bit a bit skew whiff. But you don't want your base wine in uh, sparkling wine to have too much flavour because the bubbles then accentuate it and it's almost an assault, too much of an assault on the, on the senses. Here I think they've ju just got it about right. Uh, there is that slight um, confection, yeah, confection. There is this sweet strawberry Nivea lolly uh, character. Um, or oh, there was another thing around in the 70s at the same time, Cresta, it's frothy man, Stra a strawberry cordial which was uh, slightly unnatural pink colour. If you have children and you're in the UK, it's almost cowpole colour. But uh, here, yes, it's 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 got a nice um, toasty richness about it, and um, uh, yes, it's good. I'm just gonna have another swig. <laughs> Bit of a crowd pleaser, but nothing wrong with pleasing crowds. Uh, uh, that my personal uh, crowd is quite pleased with that. Uh, what I like about it is that it's got um, yes, it's it, 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 there's the freshness. Uh, but uh, there's nothing too sharp about it. It's one of those sparkling wines that I actually could drink one glass and then another glass and then maybe a third glass with no food being present. I wouldn't feel like I was going to get acid reflux attack. I wouldn't be going around burping on my hosts. Not that I ever do that with other wines. But, um, yeah, nice, juicy, friendly, uh, oh, yes, please, I'll have another glass type of wine. So, uh, nothing wrong with that. See you soon.